Hello everybody, how you going? Beautiful sunny morning here, uh, mid-July, coming towards the end of July there. Uh, it's still winter, of course, but temperatures have been pretty mild. Um, we've been getting plenty of wind, as you can feel it, a little bit of the breeze coming through. And we just decided then after we've done our management, our trial management there, uh, like, like as I showed in the last uh, video, uh, we decided to come in and do a good management, just kind of manage the senescence of that kind of later placenta stage. Uh, so I just want to show you, I left one, one row to show you, which is that row here uh, beside me there. And uh, I'll just show you how it looks now. So I have just managed this morning all of, this, all of this, those rows on the left uh, and just left this one just to, to show you how things were. Uh, so this line here is another uh, of the support lines there um, where we got our bananas and things. And the idea here was just to come in and manage especially the pigeon peas who are really now senescent in a sense that they're really putting their effort into their seed production. So you can see the quality of their leaves is really poor. Um, things are just not uh, really moving. I mean, it's not really a time to move. We can also see here in the castor royal uh, going straight into seed. Uh, again, uh, time to just do a little tweaking um protolaris i'm leaving them on the on the service rows because i really want the seeds and I'm, I'm still keeping a bit of protection i am managing some of them like in the rows down the bottom where they were not great uh, i managed them all um, to look nice and clean i'm still trying to keep uh as i manage this kind of half a meter to one meter line uh protection there but we can see the citrus kind of poking out we can also see some of the support species here poking out as well uh, with the casual arena. Uh, beautiful friend is there, just popping out, but you can see just that density of pigeon pea. Uh, the system is a little bit clogged up. It's great protection for the banana. This banana is really loving it. Uh, so I'm just gonna open it a bit, keep the castor oil to just a couple of leaves on the top. Um, and that's how we've gone. And I'll show you just how things are I'm moving up the top. Uh, as I said, probably not the timing that I was thinking to open up that system that much. Uh, but just how things are going. But with the weather, uh, we decided to do a little bit of hand irrigation as well, maybe once every two or three weeks, just to keep a little the, bit of the moisture going and see if we can turn things around in the sense of just keep things growing. Um, the test that we've done with both the putting the Mexican sunflower there uh, as well as the pigeon pea and the uh, crotillaria, they have come back really nicely. So that's what informed our decision to manage the whole system. Uh, even though it's not, you know, a big growing season, we can see that from the grass that I managed a couple of weeks ago. Instead of putting growth, they're coming back into seeds, uh, but not a lot, but a little bit of seed. So you can tell that the grass is still not really growing. So that's another indicator of how things are going. Um, so very important, always do your trials, you know, don't, don't rely on books, don't rely on, on advices, don't rely on, on anything foreign to your system. But the system, you know, this is where we make decisions. This is where we know how things are going. And I'll just come and show you what I mean. Uh, see there? So that has been managed probably less than a week ago. And we see all of that pigeon pea just coming back into leaf. Uh, there, just putting new leaf as well. Look at this on the Mexican sunflower. Boom, 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 all coming back. That's only two weeks growth. We can see the cut there, just down there. Douche. So that's the idea. Crotellera just starting to put a few new buds on the corner there, as you may see. So that's the, that's the game, is that to keep things moving. And as a result, Hopefully our productive plant will also start to move. Uh, I had seen a little bit of growth into the, the, the finger line. They have been defoliated a little bit by the ants. So not the best time to show them, but that's the reality of the system. That's what I've got. So there's nothing to hide here. Um, the whole idea is to keep you know, sharing what we do and why we do it, which I think is the most important. Let's see if I can find that's our uh, 
uh, trial row, I think it was over here, that I did two weeks ago. So look at that. Look at the size of that Mexican sunflower already. Look at this response from the pomegranate. This is it. That's why we wanna see that. This is all in two weeks. All this new growth came from managing, from opening these up and this guy bouncing back, just going boom, boom. Big leaves already. Look at the side of this leaf. That leaf was probably this size when I cut. So that's what you want. Pigeon pea already, full swing into growth mode. They might come back into flower. I have seen some kind of going into flowering and that's part of the deal with a lot of the leguminous plants. But looking at that, it seems to be just leaf, leaf, leaf. So this is three weeks ago, maybe two, three weeks ago. So that informed us uh, how to proceed. Um, and, and things are just pumping. Really, really happy with how the system is going. And now everything is in sync. Wish we had a little bit more rain, but we did have a little bit in the past, but it's okay. We, we're happy to to come and, and bring a bit of water, maybe once every couple of weeks or so, just to get a little bit of the growth moving. And I was informed by reality. I was informed by our system. When is the time and how aggressive. And you can see here how it filled up really quickly. So I'm maintaining the protection of the plants. Uh, things off, look at this one as well. It got smashed by the ants but already coming back up and going, oh, I can do this, uh, the red cedar. Yeah, so we manage, we basically are here to be told what to do by this beautiful site, all those plants working together and letting us know when it's time to act. So act accordingly.